wanted to come on and um, share Psalm 91 and um, so I'm whispering over for you. It says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no enemy can withstand. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, with great confidence and on whom I rely, for He will save you from the trap of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you and completely protect you with His pinions, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a wall. You will not be afraid of the terror of night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the destruction of sudden death that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but danger will not come near you. You will only be a spectator as you look on with your eyes and witness the divine repayment of the wicked, as you watch safely from the shelter of the Most High. Because you have made the Lord who is your refuge, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge from the most higher dwelling place, no evil will befall you, nor will any plague come near your tent, for he will give his angels a special charge over you, to accompany and defend and guard you in all your ways of obedience and service. To protect and defend and guard you in all your ways of obedience and service. They will lift you up in their hands so that you do not even strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he set his love on me, because he set his love on me, therefore I will save him. I will set him securely on high because he knows my name. He confidently trusts and relies on me, knowing I will never abandon him, no never. He confidently trusts and relies on me, knowing I will never abandon him, no never. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honour him. With a long life, I will satisfy him and I will let him see my salvation. Amen. Now, as we uh, sleep tonight, know that we are under the protection of the Lord, that he's with us. And the psalm that I've just read is um, Psalm 91. And it's the security, it says, security of the one who trusts in the Lord. And in your own time, I want to encourage you to, to read that in your own time. And pray that and, and speak that over your home and, and upon yourself and your family. And it's such a beautiful psalm and it's just so beautiful, a psalm of protection. So know today, excuse me, know that the Lord is with us and that as we sleep, his angels are around us and he's with us and he's a mighty, uh, the, what's a mighty um, father, a mighty God, I was going to say, but I wanted to say father, father first, God and father. He's a mighty God and father. He's great and, you know, he is looking after us. He is with us. He never leaves us. And he's, we're in his hands. He holds us. And he's a great God. He's a great Father God. And he's with us. He's Abba Father. He's beautiful and he's lovely and he's holy. And we just lift up your name, Lord. Let's pray. We praise you, Lord, and thank you for your word. We pray as we sleep now. We thank you, Lord, that you're protecting and keeping us safe in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for mercy, Lord God. Anything that we've done, Lord, that's not of you. Anything we've done knowingly or unknowingly, Lord, we pray for mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray, Lord God, thank you for your mercy and your forgiveness and grace and mercy. Thank you for your mercy, Lord God, and your grace. Help us to uh, come before you every day afresh, Lord God. Your your faithfulness is a, your mercies are renewed every day, Lord. Help us to continue to bring our ourselves before you in prayer, our weaknesses and our shortcomings, Lord, as well. Let me just pray for mercy, Lord God, and we ask you to help us. Uh, we pray you would help us to uh, continue to uh, live a holy life, to live a life unto you, pressing into you, Lord, seeking your face, showing out the distractions of the world, Lord, and being consecrated unto you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Lord, for everything. We thank you for how you keep us and love us. We thank you for your grace and mercy. We thank you that when we're weak, that you strengthen us. We thank you that when we feel uh, not so good, that you comfort us, Lord God. And that you're with us and you hold us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We love you so much, Lord. And we thank you for everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.